What's up everyone, I am Wolfstrike150 and welcome back to building our amusement park on Minecraft. Welcome back to the amusement park guys, I know we've kind of taken, or I've taken kind of a week long hiatus on the series, I haven't exactly been feeling well and I've also been kind of busy as of late, but we are back on the amusement park and I've done some off camera work as I'm going to show you right now. Uh, I don't know, I don't exactly remember how much was actually done by the end of the last episode. But as you can see, there's some differences. Uh, first of all, I think we brought this stuff back. And then another big thing is that we have water down here. Uh, I kind of like this moat idea. Uh, this moat idea is going to kind of stretch around the edges of the castle. And I think it makes for a cool atmosphere. And obviously, it's not going to stop right here. I'm just doing that for now and it's gonna be deeper than this I'm gonna have a platform come down and it's gonna be pretty deep down here so uh, that's just kind of like a display of how that moat is gonna look and then we've got our uh, ticket areas over here as well so let's go ahead and get started on the construction now the front is it's not done, I can always detail it more, but the structure's pretty much up. So I've kind of started to work myself around is what I'm going to be working on this episode. And what I mean by that is over here we've got some walls going around. And I've already got the shape laid out for the rest of the castle. Uh, you may be thinking this isn't exactly the largest castle. And no, it's not. It's it's not like gonna be a full-size castle it's just for the aesthetic look of a castle so it's not gonna be like really long that's why it's stopped right here and plus you got to think about like I've got this tunnel coming all the way through I think that's a pretty good walk from the ticket area to just the main entrance of the park I don't think I need to make a whole big castle that you have to walk through to get to the inside of the park I think that's just long enough right there and I've kind of got some shapes laid out back here and that's kind of what we're going to be uh, mirroring over to this side in this episode. So first things first, uh, let me go ahead and drink my swiftness and I'm going to pick block this stone real quick and I think we should go ahead and uh, start to do what we've done over here and we need to take these back also because that will also uh, kind of help me figure out what I want to do for uh, that employee area over in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, take this shape up. The shape isn't very hard at all. It just follows through all the way up and it does that curve and that's precisely what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to take these back and then we after that we need to mirror that side to the other side so I need to get those shapes and it's been a good minute since uh, I've actually done that off camera work so I don't remember the dimensions for lengths and uh, circumference and stuff like that so uh, that's something I'm gonna have to kind of maybe fly back and look at for a little bit because we want to make sure that one side is mirrored to the other side so that it all matches up and uh, I'm probably uh, I'm gonna say that this might be uh, one uh, probably a couple more episodes I'll be working on this castle and then I really want to get into the actual amusement park so we need to pretty soon actually start on that main hub entrance of the amusement park as every amusement park should have and I'm trying to decide on like the essentials that I need for that entrance area and there's a couple of things that come to mind and that's just from personal experience of going to amusement parks and it's also from uh, online research and stuff like that and of course one of the, some of the things that we're gonna need in the hub area one is going to be restrooms it is very um, essential to have restrooms in multiple convenient areas around the park as uh, a lot of people as soon as they get into the park 
uh, it's a good idea to use the restroom because uh, you don't want to be caught up while you're in a line and really have to use the restroom. So just for that convenience is something that an amusement park essentially needs. So that's definitely something we're going to have in that hub area. And I think I've said the theme that I've gone, I'm going with for this park, uh, based off the castle, uh, it's a medieval thing. So that's uh, kind of what I'm going to center a lot of this hub area around is the medieval part. And I also want a pirate's part. So I think it's going to be really cool in the end. Um, in that hub area, we're probably going to need to uh, add some food areas as well. Um, there's probably going to be some games and whatnot uh, you can come up and play. I it's kind of hard to th decide on that because like games is something that I associate more with a carnival or a circus or something like that, but not really an amusement park. And but I have been to amusement parks where they have games, so I don't know. We're definitely going to add a bunch of food areas in the entrance and we might even add like storage areas like uh, lockers to uh, put your clothes up. I haven't decided on whether or not we're going to put a water park in this. Ideally I'd love to have a water park inside this amusement park but um, I haven't really it's uh, I haven't like for sure that because I don't know I'll have to think on how I'd fit an amusement park. Um, fit a water park into this amusement park so that's gonna take a little bit of thinking so ideally hopefully in the end we'll have a uh, water park when it's all said and done which should be pretty nice one of the first rides that I'm probably gonna be working on in this series is probably going to be a wooden roller coaster I like to go back to the roots and I think that wooden, wooden roller coasters look really cool in Minecraft, especially when you use like the oak wood fences and stuff like that. It really works out. Another reason that I'm going to do a wood roller coaster is it's pro it's going to be relatively the easiest track to make. And I, I'm, I'm, I say that and I also oppose to that. A steel roller coaster, with the, there is going to be steel roller coasters in this part. A steel roller coaster is going to be uh, pretty easy as far as laying down the track because steel roller coasters aren't bounded to a platform necessarily. They're actually um, they're free to do loops and a bunch of stuff like that, which is something that your average wooden roller coaster isn't going to be able to do. So I, that's why I'm starting out with a wood coaster. It's going to be pretty simplistic in that retrospect. So. Hopefully it turns out pretty cool. I want to have some nice drops on it, some tunnels and stuff, just your basic wooden roller coaster. And I think that's a good opener to uh, the theme park aspect of it. And we will add steel roll roller coasters. The only thing about the steel roller coasters, aesthetically, I am going to add loops into the steel roller coasters. But as you know, um, as far as Minecraft on the console versions are concerned, we're not going to be able to make mine carts, which these rides are going to be rideable, uh, by the way. We're not going to be able to make mine carts go upside down and do loops and stuff like that, as you can imagine. So I will make the loops because I think it's going to look really cool to have those loops and stuff in there. But when you ride the ride, it's more than likely just going to kind of pass those loops up. Uh, unfortunately, there's just no way to on the console version make minecarts to where they can do that maybe in the future but tracks just will not go straight up or upside down so uh, that's just uh, something that we got to deal with so that's a little bit of my plans for getting this park started and um, that finishes that tunnel I'm gonna hold off on doing that tunnel so that we can get some of this outside part done so, uh, it, like I said, it needs to mirror this side to that side. So, what I'm going to do is I need the dimensions for this wall right here. 
So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 blocks. Hopefully I don't forget that number. Because that's pretty essential. Um, we're just gonna, uh, this is actually where it's gonna start. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I've forgotten that I've, that I haven't added this, uh, uh, I haven't curved this around back over here yet, so that's something I'm gonna have to do before I really do a lot of this stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and I think that it's pretty simplistic over here as far as that curve. Um, let me think about this. I'll look at it for a second. Okay, so we're going to go. That's a three, two, one, two, three. And what was this? This was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I figured it was eleven. All right. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, put that curve in over here. So uh, first things first, it needs to start to head out this direction. And uh, go three, two, and then we'll do one, and then two, and then uh, three, and then we do the 11. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and then this curve is going to go back this way, to, uh, or that needs to be 3, this needs to be 2, 1, 2, a 3, and then, I think, I think 11, yeah, I think that's right. And then we're going to curve in just a little bit. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright. And then that does come in again. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty easy right there. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and just real quick, we're going to do uh, the uh, 3, the. Whoops. The two, the one, and the two, then the three, and then I think that I think that should match up. I'm gonna make sure that that uh, matches up with this wall because we definitely want that wall to connect. If it does, then it means that we've done everything right and it creates no problems for the future. And that does match up, so good. We got the dimensions right. So that means that all we gotta do is we gotta fill in these uh, areas over here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna have to take these down. This is kind of the uh, tedious part of our build. Uh, there's, this is just something that has to be done that I can't really get around. I've pretty much done all my planning for this video and uh, that means that this is just like a filling in kind of thing and this goes pretty far down uh, You can see that it goes down farther than the platform down here. And like I said, that's because I want that uh, uh, What you call it? Uh, that bank of water to uh, Actually stretch down to this part because I want it to be pretty deep um, So it's gonna come down to roughly the bottom that's how deep I want the water. So uh, that takes care of that wall. That's, pre that's uh, pretty simplistic right there. Uh, these curves are a little different because um, you do like shorter pe periods of them. So like this is three and it's not so bad, but whenever it gets down to like the two and then the one, uh, that just uh, gets a little annoying to place them. More specifically these twos because I'm like, I mess up a lot on these two, so I'm probably just gonna do that and then come back up like this. And then the one can do that. That'll get the bottom part of this curve put in. 
and then we'll do the uh, the top half. I think it, it it's kind of it's not even centered right here. I think the reason that I'm at this uh, point is because this is, that's actually where the uh, the ground level is gonna be. I think that's the way, the way that I have it set up. So we got that down and. Go ahead and uh, finish off this curve over here. So we're gonna have to go up, and we should be good to go. Th this th that curve over there that can be chopped off. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. When I get up here, I'll probably actually do that. So I think that this part over here is obsolete. So we can just go ahead and take that off. Or I may be wrong. What did I do over here? Yeah, we made that obsolete, okay. I didn't know if I followed through with that curve or not. And let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing and chop this off over here as well. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, continue with what we were doing and take this up. So, um, how you guys doing? Um, it's not too often, or it's pretty often, but I break in the fourth wall, talking specifically to you guys, even though you can't answer me back. Um, I just hope that your uh, your days are going well. Hope that you're enjoying this summer. For those of, um, I know that I have a lot of viewers that are. Uh, probably generally around the ages of maybe five to I don't know what a good number is maybe I don't know how high it goes 15 16 I think generally a lot of Minecraft viewers are that age and um, I don't want to be the person to um, make your uh, like bust your bubble or anything but it would appear to me that uh, it is nearing the time for all of you little kids to go to school because um, we are actually in late July now so that means that back to school is obviously a big thing and that's not just for little kids I'm also going back to school um, I however am not I, I've already graduated high school so nothing legally obligates me to go to school but um, I'm going to school for a degree in engineering, so um, I'm on my second year, so I want to make sure to get that done as soon as possible. So it's not just back to school for you, it's also back to school for me. So I hope that you're all getting prepared, and I hope that you've all had amazing summer, taking your uh, family trips to exotic places, exploring the world this summer. Definitely enjoy that while you can. I cherish every time that I've ever uh, been on summer break and got to spend it with friends and family, and I'm just glad that I got to have those memories down. Um, that's definitely something that you're gonna look back on and uh, you know laugh at or just admire because when you get to be my age whenever you're in college and working and stuff like that you're gonna find that you're not gonna have the time to do those things anymore so really 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 enjoy the time that you have that's something that I didn't think about too much whenever I was a kid but uh, like I said as you get older it's something that you really learn to be a reality so um, that's a that's your uh, words of wisdom for the day from Wolfstrike One Five Zero. I possibly have a new series coming up. I and I I I really don't like to say that either because I know what you guys think um, whenever Wolfstrike says he's got a new series coming up because that's just another series on top of. What he's already got and it probably means that nothing's gonna get done and you may be partly right but uh, this is something 
that's not set in stone is something that I'm really considering. And I'm not gonna get any, give any details on that because, like, like I said, it's not set in stone yet. But uh, just know that I might be adding a little variety to my channel beyond like GTA and uh, that Dying Light series. That series uh, kind of went up in smoke a long time ago. I've since then decided to not really do that because I didn't really enjoy that game too much because I've already completed the game and I just didn't really feel like playing it. So uh, I, that's just something that I'm thinking of. So uh, ba 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 ba. So we're gonna get this wall done, and um, I'm just gonna keep you guys on that cliffhanger of a series that I might want to do. So, gosh, how tall is this wall? It's not until I get a big wall like this that I de that I don't that I actually realize how tall I've made this thing, which is not a problem at all. I think that it adds a lot of atmosphere to the build. The build. Um, so I definitely like them to be on a bigger scale rather than a smaller. I think we almost got it. On the bright side, we're almost there. One more layer, and then we can get at these top things on. So for these uh, top things, I'm just wrapping this around right here. Or actually right there is where we want it. I'm like skipping one block, so we'll do that. And then we'll do this. And then this. And this over here. And that's pretty much how this goes all the way around. I think it really adds that castle feel to it. Alright, so that's as far as we can go for now. And... Of course, we can't neglect this bottom part down here. So we'll get we'll get this thing put in. And uh, when we get to the bottom, that should just about wrap up this episode of the building the amusement park and like I said uh, we're moving slowly but surely in this amusement park we definitely have a, lo a big road ahead of us but um, I have big plans for the future so that's so definitely something that I'm excited about doing and uh, it'll definitely pick up whenever we get that first roller coaster going I know you guys are gonna be really excited about that Gosh, this wall is tedious. I don't know how to say that enough. I hate doing walls like this. Like, this is the world edit parts. This is the parts that I really wish I had a mod for. But that made me... I guess it's all in the adventure. That'd make me kind of lazy, I suppose. But that right there completes that wall. And that right there completes this episode of Building Wolf Fabulous. But we got a, we got a pretty considerable amount done. So that's nothing to be ashamed of. But yeah, that's pretty much all the time we have for this episode of Let's Build an Amusement Park. So, I want to thank you guys for tuning into the episode today. As always, do make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're already not a subscriber. This has been Wolfstrike150, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.